question is, I'm trying to put a six thou radius into my hardened steel part with a 60 grit vitrified bonded aluminum oxide wheel and I'm having a heck of a time. I'm getting burn and huge chatter. What can I do? Anytime you're going to put a form into a part, what you want to know is what the radius is or the minimum radius on that form. You get that minimum radius and you determine, okay, what grit size do I need to achieve that minimum radius? For example, so we've got to put a certain radius into that part based on the wheel. Now, we want to choose a grit size that's going to be able to accomplish that. So, for example, we've got to put this radius into the part. We need to have small enough grits that can actually pull that off. Now, the biggest mistake people make is they have a one-size-fits-all mentality. They're putting a big radius into the part. They use their 60-grit wheel. They're putting a small radius into the part, and they use the same 60-grit wheel. Now, are they able to pull it off? Maybe, but they're only able to pull it off by dressing their wheel so it's really dull. So let's say they're using a single point diamond. They use a very small dressing depth and a very slow traverse speed. They split the grit, so to speak, to create even the form on the grits. And they're able to do that, and they're able to get their really fine radius, but it costs them. Now they've got an extremely dull wheel, as we know, a dull wheel gives you grinding burn, and even worse, it gives you chatter. So you're trying to put a fine radius with a coarse grit wheel. You've got to make your wheel dull. You're able just to barely pull it off at the expense of lots of chatter and lots of burn. So why not use the right grit size, dress your wheel aggressively, and boom, you'll find that it's a lot easier. Now, there's a very easy calculation to determine what grid size do you need. The magic formula is, I'll take 1 divided by the part radius in inches, and that'll give me my approximate mesh size. Or in metric, I'll take 25 divided by my part radius in millimeters, and that'll give me the mesh size. So in your case, you're trying to put a 6 thou radius in the wheel. 1 divided by 0.006 is 166.7, so that puts us in the ballpark of 150 grit or 180 grit wheel. So if we use a 150 grit or a 180 grit, we can dress our wheel sharp, grind away, boom, we won't have any problems putting that radius into the wheel. It's not an exact science. You could probably get away with a 120. 150 would be better. 180 would be reasonable. Now when we start getting up to, let's say, 250, well that would be too fine. So be in the ballpark within a, a grit on either side and you'll be fine and you'll find that your burn will go away and especially your chatter will go away.